most common cause um, in women is mostly uh, menstrual bleeding up till the age of uh, 50 to 52. But once they stop, um, menstrual bleeding stops, then we need to find a cause. In addition to this, you know, if patients have uh, older patients, if they're not eating a balanced diet, if they have dental problems, they're not eating vegetables. So that in older patients, that could be a reason. But if let's say your iron levels are low or uh, iron levels are normal and there's no specific cause, then we need to look for um, some other cause. It could be a bone marrow problem. It could be some uh, autoimmune conditions like uh, rheumatoid arthritis or lupus or, it could, or something else. It could be some medic Sometimes medications can cause anemia. So there are so many causes of anemia, but first we always start with the common things. Is this iron deficiency? Is this B12 or folic acid deficiency? Because these are easy to fix and uh, once we rule those out, then we are looking at something chronic. It could be so many things, you, even patients with kidney disease. If you have a kidney problem, kidney function is reduced, you could be anemic. If you have a liver problem, you could be anemic. So you could have, a, if your thyroid is underactive or hyperactive, you could be anemic. The same thing with your adrenal gland, if it's hyperactive, underactive, you could be anemic. So a lot of other causes. Common ones is still iron deficiency, B12, folic acid. And like I said, if, if you have internal bleeding slowly somewhere, that could cause anemia, uh, stomach cancer, stomach ulcers, uh, small growths in the colon called polyps, colon cancer. These are all much more dangerous.